from RTV6, this is Friday Football Frenzy. Here we go to a regional top-ranked Western Boone, second-ranked Cecita, Cecina the Dark Beauties. Max Ayers pass to the corner, Armand Hillman, six-yard score, Crusaders up 7-0. But back comes Weavo. Spencer right here, watch this, little floater to Lucas Kernodal, and Lucas does the rest, follows his blockers right on in, 35-yard score, Western Boone wins it 19-7. They're now 13-0, advanced to host Southridge in next week's semi-state. Good evening. Throw another log of the fire. Welcome to the regional round of Friday Football Frenzy. I'm Dave First. Brad Brown will be along here in just a bit. So much on the line today as the road to Lucas Oil Stadium continues and nowhere were the games any bigger than North Central. The Panthers playing the regionals for the first time in 25 years. Warren Central hoping to back up their number one ranking. Dave Marin was there. A battle tonight as 9-2 North Central would host 11-0 Warren Central. The Panthers quick to the attack. Alexander Tarvar finds the end zone. 7-0 North Central. But the Warriors would come right back. A nice run by Roman Elliott. Takes it in for the touchdown. Warm hands and all were tied at 7. Jaden George to David Bell. 80 yards and he doesn't look back for the touchdown. But on the following kickoff, North Central's Trayvon Elliott turns on the speed to go the distance for the touchdown, and we're tied at 14 at the half. Third quarter, North Central's Alexander Travar finds the end zone again, this time a 21-14 North Central lead. But once again, Warren answers right back. Elliott with the great moves find the end zone to tie this game up at 21. The Panthers would add a late field goal but Warren's Romeo and Elliott finds the end zone. Warren Central goes on to win 42-32 over North Central. Uh, North Central played a great game, had a great game plan, and uh, I got a lot of respect for them and how they played the game. It was, it was awesome. Uh, but it's playoff football. Everybody's really good now, and these are the kind of games you're going to get into, and you got to make plays at the end to win, and, and, and our boys stepped up there. Dave Marin, Friday Football Frenzy. Dave, thanks. All right, so Warren Central advances to semi-state, getting the winner between Avon and Center Grove. Told you this is going to be a big night. Brad Brown is back from Johnson County with that. Hey, Brad. Hey Dave, good evening. Avon and Center Grove don't play during the regular season, but they've had epic tourney battles in two of the last three years. CG won this regional matchup last November. Both teams have played some great defense the past couple of weeks. Will that continue tonight, though? Avon QB Henry Hessen hoping to have an answer. But CG running back Carson Steele, he was getting warmed up before the game, and it turned out to be that kind of night for number 30 in red. After a scoreless first quarter, Steele stopped. No. Nope, look at this. One spin and he's gone. 65 yards. He'd still be running if he hadn't gotten to the end zone. That opening TD. Clip the line at the end zone. 7-0. Right after that, the Center Grove D comes up with their biggest play of the night. Hessens pass. It's going to go off the receiver's hands. And there's Matt Pence. And there he goes. That's a 70-yard return for the score. Really turned the game completely in Center Grove's favor. The CG defense was just that good all night long. Pence gets a drink. They get the shutout. Sampson James had nowhere to go. Trojan 17-zip. They've won nine straight after starting the season 0-2. Oh, I think our kids brought a little extra tonight. We worked real hard. You know, we've improved every week this season. Uh, we just had to shorten the game down tonight, make some plays, and we did. Can't say enough about our defense, man. Getting a shutout against Avon is a great football team and a great program. Uh, and, you know, what a great high school football game. That sets up next week's semi-state game at Warren Central. Remember, the Warriors beat Center Grove 27-15, but that was week one. Both teams are much better since then. Should be another great mashup next Friday night. Dave? Look forward. Hopefully it's warmer next yeah. weekend. Uh, stay in 6A where there's certain constants in high school football. Carmel likely going to win a sectional. They usually win regional as well. All a part of tonight's Dave's home video. Let's go! Here we are, and it begins with Carmel and Snyder for the 6A Regional a rematch of last year's regional, won by the Greyhound 22-21. And oh yeah, they won 20 regional championships, most in the state, tied with Fort Wayne Dwinger. See if they can knock off 21 here tonight. Greyhounds. 
ready all right won their last four meetings against Snyder in the regionals how about this for opening play simple give to Dylan Downing and the junior is off to the races a game opening 55 yard play for Downing moments later a little read option everyone bites on it including the photographer that'd be me Gabe Quigley got the start at quarterback for Carmel keeps it for the nine yard touch Greyhounds up 7-0. Carmel's defense was huge tonight. John Barnes on the rollout for Snyder. Let's it fly. Four Greyhounds are around it. Picked by senior safety Nate Fry. He returns it the other way. Some 40 yards or so. Defensive lineman Bo Robbins. He was big once again tonight. And even in the wind and the cold, Spencer Hanna 41 yards out. Carmel wins it 20-6. to they're now 10 and 2. They travel to Valpo for next Friday's semi state, wrapping up the regional round of Dave's home video tonight. All right, 5A regionals, top ranked New Pal on the road at Lafayette Harrison. Kyle Ralph looking for their first regional title in three years. Uh, we're used to seeing these long touchdowns for the Dragons, not though in the first half. Charlie Spiegel, one yard score in the first, then a guess what, a one yard score in the second. New Pal wins it 31 to 7. Dragons now 12 and 0. They advance to host Michigan City in semi-state. Stay in 5A. Second ranked Decatur Central staying at home this week, hosting Bloomington South. Play of the night right here. Quarterback Parker Harrington in trouble. Somehow escapes, rolls out, finds Larry Tracy, the fellow senior. Tracy's got to break a couple of tracks. Are you kidding me here? 53-yard touchdown for Decatur Central, 7-0 Hawks. Now, not to be outdone, want to introduce you to Nick Pickett, the senior running back. This is his first carry of the night. Guess what? He's going to drag half the Panther defense into the end zone. 18-yard touchdown. Decatur Central wins the regional 28-0. They improved 11-1, travel to Columbus East. Next week, the Olympians beat Castle tonight. 2013. Well, our apologies to our jet fuel budget. It's been a crazy season for Skycam 6 between rain, presidential visits, or tonight a steady ice drizzle. I mean, we've been grounded more times than than me in middle school. Was that too much information? Keep going. Uh, kudos to photographer Lee Atherton who made the trip to North tonight, up north at Marion. The undefeated Giants hosting Mooresville. The Pioneers get it going early. Carson Goodman, watch this, quick drop, hits his main man, John Eineman. Big John is off and running, and just like that, Mooresville up 7-0. In fact, that was the score at halftime. But Marion, I'm telling you, so tough, especially at home. Look at the tough yards here from Callan Stamps. The sophomore avoiding tackles left and right. Spin move. Marion comes back to win it 19-13. They're now 13-0. Tell you who they play in just a bit. 3A Regional. Fifth ranked Chittard hosting Tri-West tonight. First quarter. The pitch here to Dalen Taylor. Taylor gets some nice blocking. And it's a 26-yard touchdown. 7-0 Chittard. Now. Digging into the, into the playbook after that, Taylor pitches back to Andrew Sawinski, who pulls up and passes back to the quarterback, Mark Nodorf. The uh, Trojans scoring early and often tonight. 56-14 by the time it was all said and done. Trojans now 11-2. They advance to get Evansville Memorial next week. Brad. Dave, back to 3A. Second-ranked West Lafayette hosting sixth-ranked Brebuff. Midway through the first quarter, Brebuff on the punt. Gabe Klinker takes it at the 12, breaks a tackle at the 20. Block in the back, no flag, though. Rest of the blockers take care of the kicker. Gabe, gone. 88 yards on the punt return for the touchdown. West Lafayette takes this one 24 to 10 as they are moving on. So here's a look at the semi-state matchups. We got it for you next weekend. Center Grove at Warren headlines the list. Carmel will make a trip up north. New Pal at home, as is Columbus East. Chittard will make a trip down to Evansville. Weibo gets a home game. Same for Lutheran. By the way, Marion will take on Fort Wayne Bishop Dwenger. More on those next week. Pacers and IU on the court tonight. Highlights coming up.